When we first started out with, with a handicam on the beach and no money, we never expected Zumba to get so big. After I saw that class, I told him, why don't we take what you do put it on video and let people enjoy it at home. We didn't have any money. So we first shot a video with a Handycam. At that time we still had Handycams. With a Handycam on the beach with 200 of Beto's class students that agreed to go and shoot this video. And we took that video and started showing it to potential investors. Everybody told us no. We called up Jim Chains. Hey, do you want to bring in in our new class called Zumba? They said no. We would go to fitness trade shows and they would say no. But every time Beto would teach a class, everybody said yes, right? So we, we started seeing that we knew that the class was powerful. We knew that there was something there. So we didn't give up every time we heard no. If you know that it works and if you know that people are engaging with your product, you can find a way to scale that. You try different business models. We tried infomercials, we tried Zumba festivals, we tried small events, we tried big events, but ultimately we saw that the person that was most passionate about our brand was the instructors. And we made them our partner and that is what allowed us grow you find I, I think you find the group that it's most passionate about about what you're doing and you turn them into into your partners and your ambassadors <laughs>